Today in Tracy's Basement, it's Game of Thrones box. Welcome back to the basement and welcome to my channel if you've never been here before. It is a pop haul today and it is all about Game of Thrones, one of my absolute all-time favorite shows ever in the history of television. <laughs> and real quick before I get started, who else is extremely frustrated that they're not even going to start filming the next season until late 2017? Oh my god, what are you guys doing to us? And it's only going to be a seven episode season. It's like, oh my god, you guys are evil. <laughs> the producers of the show must be channeling George R. R. Martin's just hatred of everybody because <laughs> that's just evil and horrible. You guys should be ashamed of yourselves. Really, you're, you're killing everybody. Killing us. <laughs> okay, enough of that. <sighs> Deep breaths. Calming blue ocean. Let's get into the pops. <laughs> Okay, the first one I have for you today, I actually kind of passed by it several times, but eventually picked it up. It is the number 38 Marjorie Tyrell, and I don't know why I didn't get her right away, because she's a really cool character, but it doesn't matter, I have it now. Let's have a look at her. <laughs> I really, really like the Marjorie character because she's like super uh, sweet and innocent and yet conniving at the same time, you know what I mean? Just a really neat character, and this is a cute pop. They did a good job of her hair with the little braids coming together in the back. I love that she's got the little bit of eyeshadow, and there's a lot of detail on the bodice of her dress. You guys probably can't see too much of it there because it is really delicate, but it's like a little delicate gold uh, filigree kind of design. Little belt there, the little armbands. She's wearing a ring. Just very cute and adorable overall. <laughs> The paint job is pretty good, except for the hair is like bleeding into her face, but you almost can't tell because it's so smoothly done. <laughs> but it is like coming onto the two sides of her face on either side. But like I say, if you if you weren't really looking for paint imperfections, you probably wouldn't even notice. Either way, the dress is beautiful, the hair is beautiful. It's a pretty well done pop. She's got the hand on the hip and everything. Very cute. Very cute. Next we're going with the number 45, Unsullied. So this isn't any specific character, it's just one of the many Unsullied uh, soldiers, but it is super cool, very nice design and awesome mold. I love the helmet. The helmet is an incredible mold. I love this little bit that comes up the top, all the little rivets and everything, the mask across his face. Very, very cool. He is holding the spear, of course, and his shield comes off, just like some of the Captain America pops. A lot of detail on the chest plate there, the belt on the back, and I love his feet, as funny as that sounds. He's wearing the leather sandals with the laces, and you can see all his toes. Just lots of little uh, different kind of details that some people might not notice, but I love it. I love that. You have all the individual little to toes and strips of leather and laces and everything. I'll give him his shield back there. Pretty cool pop. Again, not a specific character, but a very cool pop. It would be interesting to kind of have like a bunch of these guys and stand them all up behind Daenerys. <laughs> Next we have a super interesting character who desperately needs a lot more screen time. It is the number 44, Night King. Super, super cool. I really like this pop. <laughs> Look how creepy he is. I love the creepy ones. He's got like the drawn in face with the skin all pulled around his teeth. He's got the horns coming up in different parts of his head. The top of his head is all cracked. He's got the creepy blue eyes with the tiny little pupil, big dark circles around his eyes. Just so creepy, sharp teeth and everything. His fingers are like long and thin and skeletal. He's kind of, uh, I don't know, he's got like a claw going on there. And there is tons of detail in his uniform. Just very intricate little designs. Looks, uh, 
knitted almost, I guess. Just lots and lots and lots of detail. He's all like wrinkled around the arms. Like he just, he looks drawn and skeletal and creepy and it's awesome. I love it. <laughs> this guy needs a ton more screen time because I find the White Walkers just so cool and interesting and I want to know more and see more and they're awesome. And this is a sweet pop. Very well done. The last two are exclusives, and first we have the number 37 EB Games exclusive, Ramsey Bolton. This is a really cool pop too. <laughs> Ramsey has been one of my favorite characters since he showed up on the show because he is just so fun to hate. If you guys haven't seen the show or you haven't gotten to the Ramsey episodes, he is just so horrible. He is a horrible, horrible person and it just is so enjoyable to watch. Uh, you just want to see what he's going to do next, you know what I mean? He's got on all his winter gear and the long cape, all gray and black and dismal looking. They did a great job on his hair. But there are two parts of this pop that are the most important. One is the bow, and if you don't know why that's important, you haven't seen the right episodes yet. And the other part is just the look on his face. He's got the half-closed eyes like he's kind of glaring, and the lines under his eyes like he's, I don't know, tired or um, just drawn and frustrated and he's, he's psychotic. Put it that way. This guy is psychotic and the pop looks just like him. <laughs> The paint job could be a little better on this one, but I love the design, and if you're a Game of Thrones fans and you had a lineup of Game of Thrones pops, you would able be able to tell right off the bat who this guy is. Very nice. I love the eyes. <laughs> the eyes are perfect. Awesome. And last but not least, we have the number 44 GameStop exclusive Glow in the Dark, Night King. So he's of course the same mold as the other one, but he is glow in the dark, which makes some of his features pop. You can see the horns a little bit more clearly. Uh, some of the bits of his outfit are a bit more uh, standing out because the rest of his outfit is the lighter color. And his eyes really pop really well. His teeth really pop really well. And the little gold medallion on him there. Very, very nice. There he is next to the original. I really, really like the paint job of this one. I think this is really, really nicely done, but this is glow in the dark, and I think that that's wicked for this character. I think he will look really, really cool glowing in the dark, and I could almost see the character in the show as night falls having like an ethereal glow about him, so this is pretty wicked. I love them both. Truly awesome. So there you go, five Game of Thrones pops for you guys today. What did you think? Which one was your favorite? Which one was your least favorite? What do you think of the glow-in-the-dark Night King? <laughs> Let me know in the comments section below. If you've enjoyed the video, please give me a big thumbs up, share with your friends, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. You can also follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and Snapchat at Tracy's Basement. Links in the description box below. And of course, as always, guys, keep coming back for more Tracy's Basement. Bye! And this is the part where you guys can give me some love if you liked the video and you want to watch some more. Here are some of the more recent ones. And if you enjoyed the channel, please give me a big thumbs up, subscribe right below. Please keep coming back for more videos. Bye!